Hello everyone, I'm Elisa with EECC Travels and today I'm going to talk to you about cruise line loyalty programs. So many people have told me I'm going to stay with this cruise line until I get to this level or I'm building up loyalty with this cruise line or I hear a lot, I'm loyal to Royal because it rhymes so that's like their thing. But the big question is, should you be loyal to one cruise line or should you not worry about loyalty programs and just get out there and cruise? So today we're going to talk about the benefits from these loyalty programs so you can decide if it's worth it to you or not. We're going to start with Norwegian's Latitude Rewards Program. Why are we starting with Norwegian? Because I have sat here and read through every benefit of every cruise line program. And in my opinion, Norwegian has the best. And I'm not being biased. I am being honest, looking at what they give you. Once you get to a certain point, NCL's got a great program. So let's break it down. There are multiple levels of their program and the benefits don't kick in until a little bit later, but let's see what they've got. So with the Latitudes program, after your first cruise, you are bronze. Once you have one point, you're bronze. Then at 20 points, you're silver, 45 points is gold, 75 points is platinum, and this is where the good stuff kicks in. But after platinum, you can keep growing. 150 points is sapphire, 350 points is diamond, and 700 points is ambassador. And you actually get a free cruise if you get to ambassador. So you're gonna spend quite a bit of money to get there, but you get a free cruise. But what benefits come in at that platinum level? You're gonna get priority boarding, priority tender, priority disembarkation, but you're also gonna get free laundry. Who doesn't like free laundry? You can pack less if you can get your laundry done for free. And here's my favorite thing. You're getting specialty dining with the free at sea, but once you hit to platinum, you get two more specialty dining meals. That's awesome because if you cruise with NCL, you know their food is really good and those specialty restaurants are really good, if you know what I mean. So to me, getting to platinum on NCL is worth it for the food. <laughs> No, I'm being serious. I really do think that that's a great perk of a rewards program. Also, when you get to this platinum level, you get a free behind the scenes ship tour, which I think is really cool. And you get access to their concierge services. No matter what type of cabin you're staying in, you do get concierge services. But what about if you're a lower level? Still, even at bronze, you start getting discounts. So you get discounts in the shops, you get discounts on the photos, you get discounts on spa services on port days, and as you grow in tier, those discounts increase. So overall, really good program. One of the things, so I did say that you're getting priority embarkation tenders and disembarkation at platinum. Actually, a little bit of that starts at gold. So at the gold level, you get priority tender and the priority disembarkation, but the priority boarding comes in at platinum. So how do you get points in the Norwegian Latitudes program? Well, you get one point for every night cruised, two points for every night that you cruise in a suite or in the Haven, and once you're a member, you're gonna get a monthly email and it's gonna have a link to a list of cruises that if you book one of those cruises, you get double points. So in any type of cabin, you can get double points on those sailings. And then if you sail in a suite or a haven, you get three points per night of that cruise. So that is really a great way that you can build your loyalty quickly by just looking at the list of available cruises and choosing one of those instead of one that doesn't give you double points. Okay, so we have heard loyal to Royal a thousand times. Why are people loyal to Royal? Well, they like the cruise line for one thing. That's why they stick with Royal Caribbean. But let's take a look at their loyalty program. It is called the Crown and Anchor Society. You get your Crown and Anchor number after your first cruise. And here's their levels. So after your first cruise with three points, you're gold. At 30 points, you're platinum. At 55 points, you're emerald. At 80 points, you're diamond. And this is where the good perks kick in with Royal Caribbean. 
175 points is Diamond Plus, and 700 points is Pinnacle. And funny thing is, one cruise I was on, there was a lot of Pinnacle members and they give you a special name tag when you're Pinnacle. So you walk around letting everybody know that you are Pinnacle and have reached that 700 night mark. So what are the perks of the Crown and Anchor Society? So starting at the platinum mark, you're gonna start getting some discounts, which is great. So just booking a cruise, you can get a discount on your cabin once you've hit that level. Once you get to diamond, you start getting free drinks. So Royal Caribbean is one of the cruise lines that does not include a drink package with their program. So getting these free drinks is a really nice bonus. That means you're not needing to buy a drink package anymore. You get four free drinks per day on each of your cruises if you're Diamond, five drinks if you're Diamond Plus, and six drinks per day if you're Pinnacle. Also, that pinnacle mark comes with a free cruise. So not every cruise line does give you a free cruise when you get to that high echelon of status, but Norwegian does and Royal Caribbean does. So how do you earn points in the Crown and Anchor Society? Well, you get one point for every night cruise and you get two points for every night that you cruise in a suite. Another really cool fact about Royal Caribbean is that the sister company Celebrity, the two of them will loyalty match. Now, it's not a permanent thing, but if you've been cruising with Royal Caribbean for a while and you're, say, diamond status with them, and you wanna try a Celebrity cruise, well, you're not gonna start at the bottom with Celebrity. They're gonna find the level that matches Royal Caribbean and give you that on your first cruise. Now then after that, you still will start building loyalty points with Celebrity, but each time you cruise with Celebrity, even if you haven't built up points with them individually, they will loyalty match with Royal Caribbean and vice versa. So if you're one that cruises a lot with Celebrity and wants to try out Royal Caribbean, same thing. I think that is awesome. Not all sister companies do that. They're the only ones that I can think of that do, and I think that's a pretty great perk. Okay, moving on to Carnival. Carnival has the VIFP program, which stands for Very Important Fun Person because they are the fun cruise line. Here's the best thing about having a VIFP number. It's the offers you get. Let me tell you about these offers. They are completely random. They're computer generated. You don't know what you're gonna get, but I've seen some great offers out there. And it doesn't matter how long you've been cruising with Carnival. I'm a travel agent, in case you didn't know I'm a travel agent. So as a travel agent, I book a lot of Carnival and looking at each person's VIFP number to get them the best price on their sailing. Well, I see people who are red card, which means they've only sailed a couple of times with Carnival, that get these fantastic offers with really low rates or a big onboard credit. And sometimes another client that's platinum doesn't have the same offer. There for a while, Carnival was doing a free cheers program program. There were different levels of that offer. And again, it didn't matter. You didn't have to be platinum to get these offers, but it was random. So like me, for instance, never got anything, which is very frustrating. But then I had other clients that had great offers all the time. It is completely computer generated, completely random. So you don't know what you're going to get but having that VIFP number and selling with Carnival means you have the chance of getting really good offers. Also, you don't have to sail with Carnival to get your VIFP offer. You can go online and sign up for a number and you're gonna be a blue card, which means first cruise, but it means you don't even have to cruise yet. So you can just have that cruise booked or getting ready to book your first cruise with Carnival, get a VIFP number and you might get an offer. I actually have seen guests that have a blue number, which means they've never sailed before and have VIFP offers. So that is really, really cool. Okay, so going back to Carnival and their levels. So blue means first cruise. Red means it's your second cruise up to 24 points. Gold is 25 points to 74 points. Platinum is 75, and that is the ding, ding, ding level that you wanna be at with Carnival. 
that's where the good perks come in. That's where you're getting priority boarding, priority tender, priority dis disembarkation, and the free laundry. We all love the free laundry, right? Great perk. If you stick with Carnival even longer, you get to the diamond status and you get some extra perks at diamond, but you have to be 200 nights with Carnival. And I do say nights because there are no bonus ways to get points. It's strictly on the number of nights cruise is the number of points you have. Oh, also another good perk whenever you reach that platinum level is what they call the platinum and diamond party. So on the five, I think it's five nights and longer cruises, they're gonna have a special cocktail party. They have entertainment up on the stage, cocktails are flowing, and it's completely free once you reach that level. And you can bring a guest that is not yet platinum or diamond. So that's pretty cool too. Okay, next let's talk about celebrity. Their loyalty program is called the Captain's Club. And remember I just said, Royal Caribbean and Celebrity are sisters companies and you can get the price, or not price match, loyalty match between the two. So let's see what their program looks like. They have a, what's called preview, which is zero points. So just like Carnival, you can sign up before you get on your first cruise. And so once you get on board, you have access to the loyalty desk. If you have any questions, need any help, you can go there if you have a number. Or if you're on your first cruise, you can go to that desk and get your number assigned to you so you're not having to wait until you get home to know what your captain's club number is. The next level would be classic, which is two points to 149 points. Select 150 points to 299 points, and this is where the good perks start coming in. Elite, 300 to 749 points. Elite Plus, 750 points to 2,999 points. And Zenith, I just love that name, Zenith, 3,000 plus points. And you get a free cruise if you make it to Zenith. So the point system has shifted here, you can tell. So with Norwegian, Royal Caribbean, and Carnival, it's a per night based point system. When we get to Celebrity, Princess, Holland, America, it changes a little bit. It's not just based on the number of nights cruise, there's other factors that go into it. So for instance, Depending on the number of nights of your cruise, plus the type of cabin you choose, will depend on how many points you earn for that sailing. Here's an example. If you're in a inside cabin or an ocean view, you're earning two points per night. If you're in a veranda or infinite veranda, you're earning three points per night. Okay, that makes sense, right? So now we're going up to the suites. Here's where it really starts kicking in, okay? So Sky or Aqua Suite, eight points per night. A Celebrity Signature Sunset or Royal Suite, 12 points per night. We're gonna get up to the Iconic Suite at 24 points per night. So it is going to be based on a few factors. Depending on what kind of cabin you choose, you get more points for it. So we see that in other cruise lines in that if you choose a suite, you get double points. But in this case, depending on the type of suite you choose, you get even more. So that makes sense because these ships have a very different variety of suites. So the point system reflects it accordingly. So what do you get for being a member of the Celebrity Captain's Club? So you're gonna get discounts on Wi-Fi, specialty dining, and spa treatments based on the level you are. So the higher you get, the higher your discount goes. You're gonna get free laundry starting at Select. You see that is a really good perk. Almost every, actually I think every cruise line does give you free laundry once you get to a certain level. When you get to the elite status, you get a specialty breakfast, that's kinda of cool, and a cocktail hour every night. So you're not getting a, designated number of drinks or one cocktail hour, you get a cocktail hour every night. That's pretty cool. But the neatest perk that Celebrity has is a one category upgrade for free. So this is something that you're not automatically going to get. But when we say one category upgrade, it could be within a veranda class. So you may have a standard veranda booked and the next category up is an infinite veranda. 
So you're not moving from a balcony to a suite, but you can move from a standard balcony to a really nicer balcony. Or if, you, if you're at that top level of balcony, you can move to aqua class, examples like that. So aqua class is really cool because that's the spa class. So if it's available, if that cabin is available and you ask for it, you can get it for free once you're a member of the captain's club. I think that is a really cool perk. Next up, we're going to talk about the Holland America Line Mariner Society, and they are very clean cut. We're not going to come up with any fancy names. We are the one star, two star, three star, four star, or five star Mariner. So depending on how many nights you have cruised with Holland America will depend on what star level you are. So after your first cruise, you are a one star Mariner. But as soon as you book that cruise, you have a number, which is cool. So that means if you have multiple cruises booked, you're linked with the same number and you don't, after the fact, have to go and link them all together because that does happen sometimes. So that's a really cool feature. Two Star Mariner is at 30 days. Three Star Mariner is at 75 days. A Four Star Mariner is at 200 days. And this is where the good perks kick in. And a Five Star Mariner is at 500 days. Every cruise line's got one of those like cool perks. For this one, I really like this perk. If you book, if you're a Mariner, and it doesn't matter what level you are, if you're a Mariner, and you book a new cruise right after the itineraries are released, then you get a bonus perk for it. And that bonus perk is free onboard credit up to $400. That's awesome. So a cruise that you were gonna take anyway, if you book it in a certain window, you get up to $400 of onboard credit. So say you're wanting to go to Alaska and the Alaska season is coming out for next year. And you're like, yes, I wanna go to Alaska next year. Let me book it. And you book it within that window, free money. I mean, that's pretty awesome. So I said those really good benefits kick in at four star. Here's where you're gonna get 50% off specialty dining. Specialty dining is a big thing on Holland America. So if you haven't cruised with them, you'll understand once you have. The food is really good on this cruise line. The buffet's good, the main dining room's good. Everything really is good, but that specialty dining is just a notch up. Excellent, excellent food. So there are guests that when, you, when they cruise Holland, they want most of their meals to be in the multiple options they have for specialty dining. So when you get to that four star Mariner, 50% off. Also, you're gonna get priority boarding, priority tender, priority disembarkation. You see a trend here? They're all offering that. You get the laundry, and on certain sailings, you can bring a third and fourth guest for free. So if you're a family, your kids can sail for free. If you're willing to have your adult friends share a cabin with you, you can bring them for free too, but you do have to share the same cabin for that third and fourth guest to be free. But what a great perk. You can bring friends and family for free. Love it. Say, so how do you earn points on Holland America? Well, you're gonna get one point for every cruise night. You get double points for suites and they have bonus points you can earn for every $300 spent on board. And that's spending in the shops, excursions, etc. You get one point for every $300 spent. So that's a nice little bonus. Princess Cruises is the captain's circle. So we've got a captain's club and a captain's circle. Don't get them confused. Princess is the captain's circle. And they only have four levels. So they're keeping it really easy for you to understand. You are gold after your first cruise. You're ruby after completing three cruises or 30 days. I like this. So you're earning loyalty by number of cruises or by days. So the reason they're doing this, Princess has some really long itineraries. So I like that they have the options on moving up. Platinum after completing five cruises or 50 nights. This is where the good perks kick in and elite after 15 cruises or 150 nights. So what are these good perks I'm getting at Platinum? So what are these perks you're getting at Platinum? Well, first off, you're getting priority boarding. Everybody loves priority boarding. You're also getting special access to the Platinum and Elite lounges. That's a good perk. You also get discounts on photos and spa services. 
Then when you get to Elite, it gets even better. At Elite, you're gonna get the priority tender and the priority disembarkation, but you're also getting discounts in the shops and on shore excursions. You get a free wine tasting, you get free canapes in your room, you get complimentary afternoon tea served in your room. So everyone can go for free afternoon tea in the dining room. If you want a special afternoon tea once you're Elite, you can have that brought to your room. And of course, complimentary laundry. We all love that. But Princess does offer benefits for all. So it doesn't matter what level you are, there are promos and there are discounts available at any level. So we love seeing that across all perk levels, not just the higher echelons. And how do you get points on Princess? It's one point for each night cruised and two points in suites. Okay, this one is very interesting. MSC Voyagers Club. Why is this one so interesting? Why? Because MSC will loyalty match any cruise line. That's cool. So that means if you've got high status with Carnival, Royal Caribbean, Norwegian, figure out which cruise line you've got the highest status with, you fill out an online form and MSC will match comparable in their program to what you've got. And then you start from there and keep going up with MSC. That is cool. I wish other cruise lines would offer that, but that has been a little way that they can get into the market because MSCs come in, they're a European company, they're coming into the American market. And a lot of people were a little hesitant at first to try MSC, but the more people that sail with MSC, the more people really, really like them. And I think this loyalty match was a good move on their part. Okay, so let's talk about the Voyager program and what do they have? Voyager has four membership levels. Classic membership is one point to 2,199 points. Silver membership is 2,200 points to 4,299. Gold membership is 4,300 points to 9,999 points. And diamond membership is 10,000 points and above. So that's a lot of points you have to earn to get to these different levels. And you're like, oh my God, how am I gonna ever earn 10,000 points? I mean, I've only need 700 points to get a free cruise with Norwegian. It's because of their tiered system. So based on the number of nights of the cruise, plus the experience that you choose. So we've got Bella experiences all the way up to MSC Yacht Club. So based on all these factors, it's gonna tell you how many points you're getting. So you can earn points very, very quickly, especially in the Yacht Club. And I've heard that the Yacht Club's a really great experience. It's comparable to, for instance, the Haven in Norwegian, but for a lot less. So um, a lot of people are trying MSC for that luxury level at a lower cost. Haven't done it myself, but it's something I'm very interested in doing. So what do you get at these point levels? Another great thing that MSC does is offer discounts. And you don't ever have to sail with them to get these discounts. You can go on their website, do the loyalty match. So now you're coming in, you're like, I've got silver membership with MSC. You're getting discounts. You're gonna get 5% no matter what, once you have a Voyagers Club. And you can get up to 10% if you book early within like a nine to 12 month window. So it's a really good loyalty program. In this loyalty program, the good perks are kicking in at Silver. So here's what you're gonna get. At Silver, you get a $50 onboard credit per person and can earn double points. That's what I was saying earlier. You're gonna get discounts, onboard credit, all kinds of stuff for booking early. At Gold, you're gonna get priority tender and a one hour free access to the thermal spa. That's cool because a day pass We'll tip it now, of course a day pass means you get more than an hour, but a day pass on most ships is gonna cost you anywhere between, you know, $50, $100 a person. But to get that free, I'm not sure if I like it, let me give it a try, access to the thermal suite, that's a good perk. When you get to Diamond, you're gonna get the priority embarkation, priority tender, priority disembarkation. You're gonna get a free dance class, I mean, who doesn't want dance classes, that's cool. And at Diamond, you get a special party 
Diamond Party, and you're gonna get a specialty dining tasting menu. Not sure what that is, but that sounds pretty neat. Okay, so we talked about earning points based on the number of nights and the experience level you choose. There's also bonus points you can get. So once you dive into MSC, really check out this loyalty program because it's kind of complicated, but there's some really good perks to have out there and there is ways to grow that loyalty very quickly. Last but not least, we're gonna talk about Disney's Castaway Club. Now, yes, I know there are more cruise lines out there, but we had to just pick a few. And I'm picking the ones that people are most familiar with to talk about the loyalty program. Disney's Castaway Club is totally different than any of the ones that we just talked about, okay? Disney is different in the fact that they are a very small fleet. So getting onto those ships early access is their big perk. So you earn status once you have completed your first sailing with Disney. At that point, you are silver. So for sailings one through four, you're silver. And here's the thing, it doesn't matter how many nights those sailings are. So Disney does a lot of three and four night sailings. It only matters how many sailings you have been on to move up in loyalty status with them. So one to four sailings is silver, five to nine sailings is gold, and 10 sailings and more is platinum. So very simple program, very simple ways of moving up. There's no bonus points or anything like that. It's strictly based on how many sailings you have had. Now, what's the perk? The perk is early access. So if you're silver, you get early access to new itineraries before the general public one day early. If you're gold, you get two days early. If you're platinum, you get three days early. And you're gonna say, why is that a big deal? Because the fleet's so small. We're talking a handful of ships. As opposed to many cruise lines have 15 to 20 ships, Disney has five. <laughs> five. That's a very small fleet. So getting early access to those itineraries is a big deal. Also, once you're booked, you're gonna get early access to booking onboard activities. So excursions, specialty dining, spa treatments, everything like that, you're gonna get early access to based on your loyalty program. A couple of other perks that Disney has is once you get to the gold level, you get a private reception. Pretty cool and you're gonna start earning voyage discounts at the gold level. Once you get to the platinum level, you get the gold perks and you get free dinner at Palo on each of your sailings. So that sums it up for the cruise lines that we just talked about and their loyalty programs. Do you think it's worth sticking with a specific cruise line to get these loyalty perks. Please leave a comment down below and let us know your thoughts. Also, if you are loyal to a certain brand, let us know which brand and why you're loyal to that brand. So now's the big question. What about us? What about me and Jason? Are we loyal to a specific brand? Well, if you watch our channel, you know that we're not. <laughs> Personally, I don't feel that any of these programs is worth not cruising with other cruise lines for. I think the variety is spice of life. And I like getting out there and trying new cruise lines, new cruise ships. We like seeing what's coming out next, what they're doing here, what this cruise line has sampled from that cruise line and added to their newest ship. So for us personally, loyalty is a nice bonus, but it's not worth it to us to stay with one line to get to these higher levels. Now, that being said, I still watch my point and I'm still like, Ooh, I'm almost here and Ooh, I'm almost there. So we are growing loyalty status with multiple cruise lines, which is another good thing that you can do. Another thing that people may not realize is there's no time limit on these. It's going to, you're gonna to continue to, to gather points over years. So some people may be familiar with like airline programs where you only have like a cert or hotel programs too that you only have like a certain number of months or things like that and it starts over every year. That's not the case with cruise lines. You're gonna build status over years. So you can build status with this cruise line and that cruise line and that cruise line and that cruise line all at the same time. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get all of our new videos to come. Also, 
I did mention it earlier, I am a travel agent. So if you are interested in booking a new cruise or any other type of travel, please let me know. My email is travel at eecctravels.com and I would love to hear from you. But until next time, bye.